good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about the basic operation of the Magnahelic, tuning a first and second stage regulator and what we're going to use this for. Briefly talking about this, this is for checking out your intermediate pressure on your first stage regulator and this is for your cracking pressure on your second stage regulator. Of important note is this is our relief valve. We're going to use this a lot and this is our quick disconnect that we're going to use for the low pressure inflator hose. This we'll get to with the second stage. Start off, before we even get started, I want you to notice that this is not set on zero. There's an adjustment screw. You wanna make sure that this is set to zero before you get started, because you'll forget later. Because we're raked for a quick disconnect, we'll just go ahead and connect our low pressure inflator off our first stage, and we're ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. It matters what manufacturer and what regulator you're working with. For this particular one, we're looking for between 136 to 145. Right now we're getting 150. That's too high. You don't want to adjust a diaphragm first stage while it's pressurized. So I'll go ahead and turn off the tank. Use the relief valve to let the pressure up. And like most things skid related, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey, but that's for spring pressure that's controlling that intermediate pressure. So I want less pressure, I'm gonna go left. This is closed, turn it back on. Now I'm under 150, but not by much. So I'll adjust it again, tanks off. Relieve the pressure. A little bit more lefty loosey. Make sure we're closed, turn it back on. Right at about 140. I'm gonna flutter it a couple times. Just make see, sure where it's seating. I'm at about 142, that's within limits. But I'm gonna take it down because I want right at 140 if I can get it. A little bit more left, closed, on. Flutter. Right there at about 140, I've tuned the first stage diaphragm to the manufacturer's specs. Now we're going to talk about adjusting the second stage regulator. We'll go ahead and start by disconnecting it from the hose. Then we're going to add in the inline adjustment tool. You notice the inline adjustment tool also has a gauge on it. And what we're looking for is roughly about 10 bar. With some models, you don't want to screw this all the way in because if you do and you make your adjustments, <clears throat> you won't be able to pull the teeth back enough. What we're doing is we're running air pressure through here and we're also grabbing the adjustable orifice and rotating it so it seats properly against the valve. I'll go ahead and turn the tank on. We've got the right intermediate pressure and we don't hear any leaking. You search around and you find, there we go, where it locks into place. And what you're looking for is a slight hissing sound. You don't want to screw this in or out without releasing the pressure by holding it in. So I screw, let go. No longer hissing. That's the basic adjustment. You can give it about half a turn more. This part is where we're adjusting it for what's called the cracking pressure. And we're looking for about one and a half, 1.2 to 1.6 inches of water in here. Important to note that this needs to be left open so we can do our final adjustments, but it's not going to work if it's not covered. So I have to cover it with my thumb. I'm gonna breathe in slightly and it's gonna measure how much pressure it takes before the second stage opens. You can see both the intermediate pressure drop and you can hear it and see the fluctuation right about 1.7. That's a little higher than what we want. So I'm gonna just let some pressure off, screw it back out just a touch and try it again. It 
and that was about a 1.6. Now the final adjustment that we have to do while it's under pressure is we grab our five and a half millimeter and it does need to be under pressure for this and we're going to loosen this up and this is where it hits the diaphragm. We're going to tighten it up until we're hissing and we're going to turn it back 180 degrees and this will make sure that our lever is in the right position for purging with the proper amount of travel. Double check it again. Now I'm cracking about 1.4, which is still within manufacturer specs. At this point, you could go ahead and pop in whoever's covering the side, and your second stage is tuned, ready to go. Air off, purge the system. Take note.